Woohoo! Headline complete. All right, well, there you go. There's one of the uh, operations for for War of the Light. And of course, uh, you know, we played this on the hero side, but the villains have their own version of Mist Recovery with different iconics to fight and different, um, you know, allies to uh, fight alongside. So really cool stuff. Um, you know, a lot of cool backstory and lore going on here and a lot of iconic characters getting involved in this particular DLC. And I look forward to expanding that out in, the, in parts two and three as we conclude the War of the Light storyline. All right, well, thanks for taking us through this. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? Any of the new systems that came out with DLC 9? Like, I guess it actually came out before the DLC, but the armories that you're added in? Yeah, we have uh, also included with DLC 9, before I move on from there, we have brand new rage powers. It's a really cool new way to tank. Um, uh, they're inspired by the, the red light of rage, the crimson, or sorry, the, the red lanterns. Uh, yeah, you can see Nom Nom actually doing some of it right now. Um, he's executing some of the really cool mechanics. Uh, you can play DPS or a tank role with it. Uh, they do a lot of vomiting of like uh, blood plasma and things like that, like fire. And um, they also have a new mechanic called Rage Crash, which is really fun. Basically, they activate these powers, which um, make them heal every bit of damage they take for the for a period of eight seconds but at the end of that eight seconds all the damage that they took is instantly crashed back on top of them but they can be mitigated by um you know activating certain powers or doing rage combos um so it's a really new interesting and tactical way to tank in the game a lot of fun and we have brand new uh gear that you can collect you're wearing one of them right now we also have red lantern inspired gear and sinestro core inspired gear which have the core emblems on them. First time those have been seen in the game. Um, we also have two Legends characters. We added Saint Walker, uh, the Blue Lantern Corps leader, and Red uh, Atrocitus, the Red Lantern Corps leader, to the Legends PvP roster. So players can earn those characters and unlock them and play them in Legends PvP matches. And then you were mentioning uh, Armories, which we released in an update. And uh, everybody in the game gets a free Armory, and an Armory allows you to imprint a certain build or spec of your character it stores your your items your look your style um your loadout your skill spec and your power spec and it allows you to switch to that um on the fly and you can purchase additional armories on the marketplace uh, and they allow you to actually store even more specs which you can put inside your base you put these armories in your base you imprint specs on them and uh, you can switch between them back and forth. So you can have like different builds for different situations, or even if you want, you can just have different looks with the same build. I've actually had people that were interested in kind of creating that, uh, you know, Bruce Wayne to uh, Batman or Clark Kent to Superman feel, or Billy Batson into Captain Marvel or Shazam, I should say. Uh, you know, and they actually have a plain clothes look and then their superhero look. And they can bounce back and forth between them and, you know, really role play or, uh, you know, just kind of actually do it for more of a power gaming feel. Like, I want a specific build when I'm playing PvP, a uh, specific build when I'm playing PvE, whether I'm in tank or DPS role. Uh, you know, all, all kinds of different uh, uh, noodling you can do to min-max your, your character's performance using armories. And, and people love them. You know, it really is a, a game-changing kind of feature that we introduced, not only because of the convenience uh, but because of this extra strategy that it, it it allows people to do in terms of group composition when they're tackling content. Sounds great. Well, I appreciate all of you guys taking time out of your day and doing a walkthrough of the new DLC. Is there anything else you'd like to add before I let you guys go? Uh, uh, our pleasure to do it. Uh, I don't have anything to add. Do any of you guys want to say anything? No, I think we're uh, we're good. It was, it was uh, right. fun fun doing this. Yep, thanks for the run. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> thanks for having us. I like being drug around. But anyways, thanks everybody for showing up. Uh, have a great evening and continue to tune in to MMORPG.com for all things DCUO.